So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video. And today we're going to solve the mystery of, well, most of the Cook Islands dollar coins and banknotes and whether they are actually legal tender. So to start off with, we're on the Wikipedia article. And just remember, a Wikipedia article is only as good as its references. And that's what we're going to look for, the actual references. So... Uh, we won't worry about the article, we want the coins and banknotes. And if you see, these are the previous coins that actually circulated. So we've got a five cent. Uh, did not all the coins are actually represented here. We'll have a look on Numister soon and uh, we'll see what coins are actually legal tender and what are not. And if we go down, uh, is that the coins? Okay, here we go. This is the first one. So, the 30th of April 2016, all previous coins lost their legal tender status. So, we want the actual link. And it sends us to uh, the Cook Islands Finance Department. And if we go down, okay, all Cook Islands coins no longer legal tender as of 1st of May 2016, so four years ago. Okay, there's six new coins issued in 2015, the 10, 20, 50 cent, and the 1, 2, and 5 dollar. And they are available since 4th of August 2015, so nearly five years ago. The public is reminded that the last day for the old Cook Islands coins, which are the silver one two dollar, the bronze five dollar, the conch shell, so not the actual ship, the conch shell, and it ceased to be a legal tender on thirty fourth April two thousand sixteen. So therefore. Only the new Cook Islands coins, so the 2015 issue, and New Zealand coins from that are actually circulating in New Zealand now are actually legal tender. So all the previous cent coins, so the 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, and 50 cent issued before 2015. I think they last issued them in 1994 from memory. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute anyway. They're no longer legal tender, so if you go to Cook Islands, only accept 2015 and later issues of coins. So, that's settled the actual argument about the coins and banknotes. 2015 to current, legal tender. Before that, no longer legal tender. Go away. So, and now we want to look at the banknotes. So, if we go down, banknotes... We want this reference here. So, if we go and have a look, this is a tender process that they actually issued to get rid of all their older banknotes. Sale by tender or for disposal of two fair, no, 1992 columns banknotes. So, those are the, the $3.00. 10, 20, and 50 dollar, but in this one, they only had 10, 20, and 50 dollar. They actually did not mention a free dollar, so that actually might be legal tender. So it says the Ministry of Finance and Economic Management seeks suitable companies, groups, or individuals to submit a tender for the sale of its inventory of banknotes issued in 1992. And now out of circulation. These notes are no longer legal tender but have a value to collectors of banknotes worldwide. So it's just saying that Cook Island's banknotes, the $10.20.50.992, no longer legal tender. So that clears that problem up because we were a lot of people were worried, are these legal tender or are these not legal tender? And no they're not. So I'm 
not too sure, but $3 could still be legal tender. Or the earlier issue of banknotes issued in, I think it's 1987. I need to actually look that up now. So I'm on the PC and where's Cook Islands? Okay, so the first issue free ten and twenty dollar nineteen eighty seven. So those ones I'm not too sure if they're legal tender, I would say probably not. Uh, probably the three dollar still is with along with the nineteen ninety two, but the rest are not. So that clears up that. So let's have a look at Numista and yeah, I've got the actual coins. So the one cent no longer legal tender. These coins as well, the aluminium, two thousand and thirteen no longer legal tender because they'd be before. 2015 so that should be demonetized um the two cent no longer legal tender when was it last issued 1983 yeah so that's been demonetized so these numerous articles need to be updated then we've got the five cent it's been demonetized as well if we go to the next page our last issue 1994, but no longer legal tender. So you see, you've got 4.7 Australian cents that, that no longer holds, and they're actually all pretty low mint anyway. So 40,000 still not really worth that much. So people are going, Oh, low mintage means it's worth a lot of money. Ah, uh, no, not really. It depends on demand. So you've got the 10 cent 2010 is not legal tender. And then we have this one, 2015. So this is the only 10 cent that's actually legal tender. It's worth 9 cents, Australian cents. So I only accept that coin if we play it still. And also New Zealand coins issued 40 10 cent, 2006 and later. Then the 20 cent, as you can see, has a turn. And the conch shell, no longer legal tender. Only except the 2015, so a smaller coin with the turn. That's legal tender. 25 cents, probably never circulated. Uh, not worried about this collecting crap. 50 cent with the tuna, no longer legal tender. Audi turtle, no longer legal tender. That's a large coin, 31.75 millimeters. Where is the... See, they issue a lot of commemorative stuff. Okay. This, don't worry about these, uh, this one. So this smaller coin, 24 millimeters, is the only one that's legal tender. Nickel plated steel, so it actually looks different. Then the copper nickel coins. And these seem to be a frozen date, I reckon. Well, they, what Pacific Islands does now is that they actually, um, these large $1 coins now along the legal tenant, is that they just like issue a, or mint a large, I get rid of the commemorative stuff. So you go down here. Unselect all, just put standard, circulating commemorative, and there you go. Uh, what's I gonna say? So then we've only got two pages. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Yes, I only accept the 2015. So this $1, as you can see, it has a scallop shaped and a commemorative round one. Not too sure about this round one. Why was that issued? Mm. Has to be commemorative one of some sort. Uh, <clears throat> then you got copper nickel one dollars, and 
as you can see, you've got the aluminium bronze, which is the same size. Your copper and nickel one is no longer legal tender, so you can't use it. Uh, only the aluminium bronze you can. But as you can see, that the parameters are actually pretty the same. You've got $2. Uh, you got the larger one at the top, 294, then 2003 to 210. These are a bit smaller. And then the current one, which is aluminium bronze and not copper nickel, is legal tender with the two up the top or not. Then we have the five dollar. So you see you got the conch shell on that. The only one that's legal tender is the one with the actual boat. So And if we look at eBay, we can see these are the actual coins of actually legal tender. So these are all 2015, so these are the only ones you should actually be using on the Cook Islands. But if you get any of the other coins, um, they actually sell quite well. And uh, you should have no problem in actually selling Cook Islands coins. So, yeah, I wouldn't actually throw them out. How much was that? $30. Wow, that's expensive. Expensive Cook Island set. Anyway, that is the legal tender status of Cook Island's coins and banknotes. Except for the $3 banknote. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I hope it was informative and it actually helps you with... Uh, illegal tender status of cook islands coins if you're still unclear leave a comment down below i will answer and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time like say thank you very much and have an awesome awesome coin collecting